Fathiyah uh, says someone had skin diseases, vitelgo or vitelgo. I don't know if I'm spelling it right or not. I heard when they make dua, they say, Allah protect us from this disease. It's bad things to have it. People say that a person who has such a disease, that is because he is a bad person. Is it true? The question is not clear, but Vitelgo is a skin disease where you get patches of whiteness on your skin that is looking awkward. As for the dua, yes, there is an authentic dua where the Prophet ﷺ would say, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-barasi wal junooni wal judami wa min sayyi al-asqam. Four things that the Prophet used to seek refuge in Allah Azza wa Jal from. So he says, I seek refuge in Allah from Vitelgo, from insanity, from leprosy, and from all bad illnesses. And this is a beautiful dua if you make it and you're having full conviction in Allah Azza wa Jal that He's the one that who would protect you from all of these, then inshallah you'll be protected. Now if a person has this, does it mean that he is a bad person and this is why Allah has tested him with such an illness? The answer is of course not. We know that Prophet Jacob Prophet Ayyub, peace be upon him, had a similar skin disease that made people repel him. And he had an illness for 18 years. And he's a prophet of Allah. One eight years, 18. And in the hadith, Prophet Ayyub, peace be upon him, once heard two men talking to one another about him. So one was telling his friend, look at Prophet Ayyub. Man, this illness that he's struck with, he must have done some nasty things when he was young. Otherwise, why would Allah test him with such an ongoing illness and disease? So Prophet Ayyub heard them and he said to them, by Allah, I don't know what you guys are talking about mentioning being bad when I was young or doing something haram, but I'll tell you something. One of the things I used to do before I was struck with this illness is when I walk down the streets and I see two men fighting and each one swearing to do something. So like when you see two men fighting and one of them says, Wallahi, I will hit you. And the other says, Wallahi, I will never speak to you. So they're taking Allah's name in oaths, Prophet Ayyub says to the two men, I don't know what you guys say, but wallahi, when I pass by two people swearing at one another, I return and I pay expiation for both of them for what they had said. Now, he did not swear. He did not take an oath. But it shows you how much he glorified Allah Azza wa Jal, that he would not hear Allah's name been 
used in vain and in something like this without him going to give the expiation on behalf of the people who took such an oath. So, would anyone dare and say that Prophet Ayyub was a bad person? A'udhu Billah. These are tests, Fathiyah. We are in this life to be tested. And a beautiful advice was given. Whenever a calamity strikes, if it's your choice, do whatever you want. And if it's Allah's choice, then you have to be content with Allah's choice. This is what Allah chose for you. Why be anxious? Why be depressed? Why be saddened? Move on. Move forward and acknowledge that this is from Allah and you will be content with the grace of Allah Azza wa Jalla.